Okay, so hopefully I can get through this video because I've been trying multiple times today to share this with you guys. Um, but I have our foster babies here. One of them is taking a nap, but I also have my two-year-old niece here today. So I'm watching them from the other room. So hopefully they will entertain themselves long enough for me to get this out. Um, I always tell you guys that if I ever have any like dreams or anything that's related to like Jesus or the rapture or just current events or anything like prophetic that I would always share it with you. And so I did debate sharing this just because, you know, disclaimer, it is a rapture dream and it does have a date in it and also like a reasoning behind why. So I debated sharing this. Um, I just don't understand the dreams that I have sometimes. Um, so I don't even know if this was from God or if it's, if it is, if it's even literal. Um, I'm not a date setter, but my friend yesterday mentioned that there's a difference between a date setter and a date watcher. And I really like that word, watcher. And I've been watching for the rapture to happen since 2011 or 12. I can't even remember anymore. Yeah, Christmas 2011. So anyway, I have been so busy lately with all of the foster care stuff. <clears throat> Literally every second of my day is spoken for. There's always something going on there's workers coming workers going appointments stuff with the babies um, I can't say too much but literally the whole day is there's always something going on and I just don't have the time that I used to to sit around and think about the rapture or pray about it or anything like that um, but last night as I was trying to fall asleep I was just crying out to the Lord and telling him how um, basically I was just very overwhelmed with the emotions of everything that's coming up here soon. We are coming towards the end of our babies' foster care case and um, in court soon we will find out what's going to happen with them, if they're going to stay, if they're going to go back or if um, it's kind of looking like Possibly they are wanting to grant an extension, a very long extension for the biological family, which is shocking to us because the entire time they haven't done anything that the court has ordered them to do. And then now that there's like an inch of time left, they just decided that now was a good time to start doing things. And just because of that one thing... They're considering giving a very long extension. So I just was like crying into my pillow because it would be different if I knew that they were going back to a safe, loving, stable home. And it absolutely is not. It's a disaster situation that I can't talk about. So I was just like caught up in the emotions of court and everything and just praying for God's favor for us to adopt. And... um just also telling him how, you know, I don't have a huge support system. A lot of people have turned against us and I don't have any friends at all, really, anymore. And um, I just was saying like, Lord, where are you? I'm tired, like I'm exhausted in so many different ways, just crying out to him, basically. I wasn't asking for a dream or anything about the rapture at all. I just went to sleep and I had this dream where I was at my parents' house. It was like my mom, myself, and my siblings, and we were outside. There was something going on in the sky that was like capturing our attention. I don't know what was going on. Um, I don't know if it was like something in the clouds or something with the moon just something about the just the sky in general had like caught our attention and everyone was looking up and so we were just like talking about the rapture um 
and this is where it gets really detailed and I just don't know what to make of any of this so I'm not saying that anything is going to play out the way that it did in the dream I don't even know if this was from God but just in case like I feel like I would regret not sharing this if the Lord was like trying to give a nugget of wisdom because to be honest um, I have been praying um, a lot lately and when I pray I say I ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So it could be the Lord pointing us towards something, but maybe not. I don't know. So I, we were talking about the rapture, and I said, you know what? I bet you that God designed the date of the rapture to be um, patterned after birthdays. And I was talking to everyone around me about, I was saying how... I was like, people, you know, Christians and people in general um, will tell you that birthdays aren't really important to God and that they're evil and idolatrous when you celebrate the birth of another human being versus just, you know, the Lord himself. I don't know why I was saying this stuff, but I was. I just said, you know, people will tell you that birthdays aren't important and that they're wrong and you shouldn't celebrate them or whatever. But in the dream, I said, birthdays are important to God and they are designed um, very um, meticulously and at perfect times. Kind of like, um, hold on one second. Kind of as if to say like, Whenever someone was born, it wasn't just random, and it was for basically an ordained time, I guess. And I said that um, I said that God. I'm trying my best to explain it the best way that I was saying it in the dream. I said that everything that God does, the way that He does things in heaven the way that he designed life in general and like the family order and just how life works. Um, for example, you know, we have um, weddings on earth when people get married. It's fashioned after, you know, the wedding supper of the lamb. God is our father. And then we have like fathers and mothers. So everything that we experience in life, the way that it works is patterned after the way God does it. And I said that, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if he designed the timing of the rapture to follow the pattern of birthdays. And I I said, um, I bet you he will pattern it after the most popular birthday that there is on earth. Like whatever day of the year is the most popular for um birthdays so like whatever day most people have been born on if that makes sense for some reason I thought that he would choose that day to be it and I said I bet you it would fall on March 22nd and I said I bet if you google what is the most uh, recurring birthday in the entire world. I said, I bet you it will say March 22nd. And in the dream, we Googled that and it said March 22nd. And I said, see, I told you, I knew it. I don't know if that's true or not. I have no idea. That'll be interesting to look that up. But again, I don't know if it was literal or if there's some kind of hidden meaning in that or something. But I said in the dream, I said, um, because something about lambs and spring and Jesus I don't know exactly what I said but something about something about lambs in the spring and Jesus and birthdays um and I said I bet you it's either in September or March 22nd and then when we googled it and it said March 22nd I was like I knew it was one of those because see I would think that I feel like everybody is born in September or February so I don't know, I don't even know if they would really be able to figure out what date 
is the most popular date that people have been born on. Um, you would literally have to go through every like birth certificate on earth to see what's the most, uh, what day has the most, most birthdays. And I said it had to do with the spring and lambs and Jesus and birthdays. And I said, the birthday is very important. Um, and I, when I woke up, I realized, you know, I've had a lot of dreams about the rapture where there was a birthday party going on and specifically a surprise birthday. Um, so, and I've heard so many other people on here as well have rapture dreams where there's a birthday theme to it. So it's been quite a while since I've had a dream like that. So for me to dream this in the middle of everything else going on in my life, and I'm not even thinking about that. I am just wondering if he's kind of wanting us to see something in that. I have no idea. And there was more going on, but as the day has progressed, I honestly, it's slipping away from me. So I didn't want to wait any longer, but um, what else? I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention. Sorry for the babies in the background. Um, if I can remember anything else, I'll just come back and post it later. But for what it's worth, we were talking about the rapture and how I felt that um, it wouldn't be on any just random haphazard day. I really felt in the dream that God foreordained it and appointed it to follow the pattern of birthdays, specifically whatever the most popular birthday on earth was. And again, it had something to do with spring and lambs and Jesus so if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, maybe I was just so tired and exhausted and overcome with emotions that I made myself dream something like that. But I tend to believe not. I think there's something to that. And real quick, when I woke up, I was like, March 22nd, that's so random. And I realized that March 22nd is 322 and I'm pretty sure that is the uh, Skull and Bones Day. Um, I'm sure most of you guys already know what that is. But I don't really know what else he could be saying about that if this is from God. I just thought, you know what, I probably better share this. Even if I'm just way off and it doesn't mean anything like that. Even if it's not literal or whatever, that's fine. I'm just coming on here to share the dream that I had. Let me know what you guys think. Pray for us, um, for God's favor, for us um, and the girls' best interest um, to stay with us. Because even though we were basically told, even though it might be their best, best interest to stay with you guys... Um, this particular very liberal court upholds the natural biological family to a very high uh, importance, basically worships them over even the best interest of a child sometimes. So that's really been getting me in my emotions lately. So just pray that um, for God's favor for us to adopt and for no extension on this case it's a really long one and the babies have been through more than enough and they don't deserve that they deserve stability stability and permanency and they love being here we're all that they know really so all right you guys i gotta go bye